All right, continuing on. I see a little bit more of a gap here between the pinky finger and the ring finger. And it really feels like, let's see, I want to try to figure out if that angle, the way I have it, is just a little bit too intense. And I think that's probably what's going on. So I'm going to drop down to a lower subdivision level, go ahead and mask off that. If you just click on the surface, it will draw a perpendicular line from whatever face or vert that you happen to click on. So this is a nice way for me to say like, okay, I'm going to do a little bit of a, of a barrel roll on this and just ease it out a little bit. And then on the pinky, drop it down again. I'm just going to rotate it out, sort of back a little bit more. And we're still not getting quite as much. I'm looking at this negative space here. It almost feels like these fingers are just a little bit too short, but might be just my eyes playing tricks on me. All right, one thing I can see is this part of the index finger needs to be carved back a little bit. Sorry, that's the middle finger, not the index finger. It's just a little bit too wide at the base. We do want it to have that nice curved tapering end. So this is just very light touch with the clay tubes and then clean it up with the flattened 4R4. Come back and find the top of this finger a little bit. And I guess because I kind of broke the ice with the fingernail on the pinky, you can go ahead and start thinking about that same feature, finally. On the rest of the fingers. All right, and so, you know, there's lots of ways you could do it. You come in with damn standard or whatever. There's nothing wrong with that. Just got to make sure your fingernail doesn't really bulge out like that. So you probably want to, it, it, this is actually pretty good for the, for the skin part, but you just got to come in and maybe kind of clean the nail up. So it, it's a little bit more of like a, you know, a flat surface there. And the fingernails are, it's a pretty subtle feature. You don't have to go crazy. Kind of adjust the shape there a little bit. I might actually even add in a little more volume over here. And then grab the M standard and just to get that little, almost like a little inflate around the nail bed that we inherit by default with the damn standard. And the flat 404 gives us a very nice boundary point sort of boundary edge there between the uh, the, the finger, the skin, and the nail without it feeling like it's just etched in the surface. Go ahead and soften that. It's not really a right angle there. And 
It even feels like maybe a little bit too big and a little bit too bendy. All right, let's come back over to this one. Just work on that definition there a little bit. And you can see most of like the nail bed, the fingernail just really sits on top of the finger. It's not something that, you know, we're not going to wrap all the way back. Just kind of looking at what's going on here. You know, as, as you add more, more information and more detail, it's always a good idea to just confirm that your, your earlier statements make sense in the, in the context of the new stuff is you can usually get a better idea of like, you know, how accurate something was or wasn't. All right. Now we got this finger. It's basically going to be about the same thing. Just using damn standard here. And then we'll come in with uh, probably clay tubes here. Just walk some of this boundary stuff around the nail bed or the nail back onto the uh, where it was. And we'll leave that stuff kind of inflating up around. And you can see my little issue here or where I, where I decided to put that flat spot wasn't exactly accurate. That's okay. So the, it looks like the nail is sitting just slightly above, what was that, clay tubes? Slightly above kind of the, the boundary of the table there. So we can add a little bit more volume in. Also, the location of the base of the nail is not necessarily accurate. So maybe reality is somewhere in the middle. I'm going to use inflate here because it feels like that geometry is getting just a little bit confused because it's right there on that boundary between this side and this side. So we'll just come in with the flatten brush. Try to figure out what's happening here. Tame it down there. All right, and then grab the move brush. All right, so there's three fingernails and uh, we'll pick up the fourth and fifth fingernail here in the next video.